Hi everyone, welcome to my day. Now today for me, it's going to be fairly busy because I've got quite a few deliveries expected and a couple of pickups as well. I've also been doing a lot of reorganising. Now if you watched my video from a few days back, you'll have seen that new storage locker that arrived, the second locker. So I've now got the red and grey and the yellow and grey locker and I've been reorganising a lot of stuff to go into those lockers and during that tidying up process, I found something really cool. I'm going to show you it now. Now some of you may remember what these are, but this is a photo CD. Yes, this is going back to before digital cameras were available. And if you took in a film to get it developed, you also had the option to actually get the photos put onto a photo CD as well. Let's just open this up and show you what it looks like inside. That's what it looks like. And these are the photos. And basically, if I can get these off of the disc, I'm going to try and find an old optical disc drive. Then instead of you just seeing this jewel case at the moment with the little thumbnails, you'll be seeing the actual photos on your screen now. And some of them are of some old consoles and other photos on here are of my old business. So when I used to actually sell computer hardware and software, some of those photos are on here as well. I'm not sure if I can give you a close up of these. Just in case I can't get the photos off, there are some photos there. This one here, number nine and number 10, especially were of the stand that I used to have on one of the exhibitions. Here is also another exhibition that I exhibited at. And then the top ones are of an old shop that I used to run as well. So I will try my hardest to have got those photos off that CD. I'm just hoping that I can locate the uh, optical drive so I can connect that up to my laptop and get those photos off of the disc to show you within this very video. But it re reminded me back in those, those days when I used to uh, sell computer hardware and software and it was great, it was a great time and everyone was so excited and so excited and so passionate about the whole computer scene. I mean they still are today of course, but back then it was all new and I can remember even people being very passionate about how they stored their floppy disks. Wow, it was just amazing. It really has brought back some fantastic memories. But anyway, back to today. I had some deliveries arrive the other day, and these are they. I have got this. I haven't heard of this brand before. It's called Izzy, and this is an Izzy Slim. And it's a case for the iPhone 5S or iPhone 5, and it's got lenses built into it as well, so you can rotate those lenses. Not sure how comfortable that is going to be to carry around, but it certainly looks like a very interesting case indeed. So I'm going to be testing that out over the next few days. I also got one of these. I've waited for one of these for absolutely ages. This is a transporter drive. Uh, it's private cloud storage, sync, share, access and protect your files and you put a hard drive in here as well and it allows you to access those files from pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to be testing that over the next few days as well. So plenty to do. It's um, fairly good weather today and I had an early start. I always wake up early. I'm sure you get bored of me saying this, but it was an early start up about six o'clock, breakfast, washed, dressed and then working by about 7 o'clock-ish, 7.15 I started working. And you probably see that, if you follow me on my social networks, you'll see that around about 7.15 I normally update Instagram with my photo for the day, because I'm doing Project IMD365. So you'll see that appear on Instagram, and then shortly after that you normally see the daily video. So I'm normally in work mode by about 7.15 to 7.30 a.m. every day. And it's just the routine I've got into, and I think it works well for me. It gets me into a structured working manner. Now don't forget I work for myself, I'm self-employed. And if I didn't do that, I would maybe, I don't know, have an extra cup of tea or watch a bit of telly or watch some YouTube videos and not get into work mode until later on in the day. And I don't think that's a good thing. I think you still need to treat your self-employment as a job because after all it is a job, it's what feeds me, it's what keeps me interested and keep me passionate in what I do. So I need to have that structure to it. So I just wanted to share that with you that if you see 7.15 a.m. every morning, I'm up and on Twitter, it's because I got up like an hour or an hour and a half earlier to get ready for the day. So it's been a good day so far. I've actually got some new equipment ordered up for the editing room, which I'll share with you really soon. I'm very, very excited about it. And now it's time to prepare some dinner. So here I've got some salmon, which is going to go into the oven. 
and the first thing we're going to do is put some oil on not too much oil just enough to keep it moist and to stop it from sticking to the foil I always line the trays in foil I think it's just laziness not wanting to actually wash up afterwards bit of salt And we shall have some pepper. Very simple seasoning on these. It's like a cooking show. And then I normally just fold this up. So not to seal it completely. Sometimes I make it into little parcels, but this time just literally just to sort of stop them from burning and then that's going to go into the oven okay and the next tray along is quite simply a tray of chips so we're not having anything flash to eat it's just uh, a nice easy meal Tray of chips. Just going to spread those out. Now, if you know me and you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I don't like salmon. So instead of me having the salmon, I shall have tuna with mine, which I'm perfectly fine with. Tuna is a nice sort of healthy fish to eat, so I have that with a few chips, and I'll put some vegetables to go in with this as well. Let's just grab the chips. I'm having to do this one-handed, so we'll have to go there, and then we're going to pop these in the oven on the top shelf there with the salmon. Job done. So that's dinner done, and it was really nice. Do you want to see it? Well, you can't, because it's in my tummy. No, in all seriousness, I'm only joking. It was a nice meal, and in fact, our evening meals are the only opportunity that we all get to sit down as a family and have a chat and sort of catch up with how our day's gone. Now this week is half term, but my daughter is 17, so she's sort of out and about doing her own things. My son's really into his um, gaming, so he is either playing games or recording videos or doing basketball. That's one of the sort of uh, sports that he really enjoys. And myself today has just been lots of tidying up, lots of editing, lots of arranging emails, and of course, before I cook, cook dinner, I did mention to you that I'd ordered up some bits and pieces for the editing room because I'm actually making some changes in the editing room again. Now, it's not to say I wasn't happy with how it was, but I just needed some more space in there. So I will show you how that changes over the coming days. But I'm very, very excited about it. So that's been my day. I hope your day's been good as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button one thing I really want to ask you, because it really does help me, is if you can share a link to this video, please do. Also leave me some comments. I'll see you again in the next one. Ah, see? You turned off too early on this one, didn't you? Because I managed to get these photos off of the photo CD. So as well as putting them in the beginning of the video, I just wanted to put them at the end of the video with a little bit more detail about what the photos show. Now, when I set up Visual Promotions, the intention was to grow it, obviously, into a really big business. And it had some really good potential. And we started off, and I say we, it was myself mainly, but a good friend of mine also helped me. And he didn't take any payment, he just helped me because he was passionate about the things I was doing. And we used to go around to what were known as computer fairs and set up uh, one table, two tables, or as you can see, in this particular photo, quite a few tables stacked quite high with computer products. And it went so well that I then developed the business into something that was capable of supporting actually opening a shop. And the shop was quite a small one, but we used to sell the Commodore Amiga range, we used to sell consoles, we used to sell PCs as well, we used to sell a, a lot of uh, floppy disks and uh, storage devices for disks. Uh, peripherals for the Commodore Amiga range and the Atari STFM as well. Just absolutely loads of stuff and it was really great to be able to set that shop up. 
But during running that business, uh, there was uh, a certain time when manufacturers really cut the margins on everything. And we were cut down from previously making a 30% or 40% margin on a lot of the stuff we were selling to maybe as low as three or 4%. So very, very difficult to then support the rent of a shop. So we closed the shop down. There's also some photos on here of some of my favorite consoles. And I'm gonna let you just guess what they are. I mean, one of them's pretty obvious, but there are a couple of other consoles in there as well just for you to take a look at. And, and these are the sort of consoles that I used to really enjoy playing the games on. And we used to go around to a friend's house and have a game night every week. And it was just fantastic. It really was an awesome time, a very exciting time when uh, CD-based games came out. And there was a big jump in graphic quality as well. So I thought you'd enjoy just taking a closer look at some of these photos rather than me rushing through them earlier on in the video. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of uh, what I used to do as well. So that, that this really is the end of the video this time. It really is. You can stop watching now. Well, after the outro. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you wanna to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.